Keeneland and also Julian Robinson, guys. Season opening loss, 31-14 against Cleveland State. Coach, I think the biggest thing in looking at the stat sheet was just the fact that they were able to run the football four times. Just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, they were able to run the football, you know, but they were able, they were also able to stop the run with us. Um, you know, you got to take your hats off to them. They did a, a really good job of uh, scheming us. Uh, I thought their, I thought the game was a physical football game. Um, there were some opportunities there for us that we did not, you know, take advantage of. And um, in this type of game, you've got to be able to take advantage of those opportunities because a good team like that is not going to give you many opportunities. So for the ones that we uh, had an opportunity to do something with, you know, we failed. Uh, our guys understand, um, you know, the, the, the plus minus, the, the, the giveaway takeaway is – is very important to us. And uh, in a game where we're struggling to truly stop the run, they average five yards a carry. You can't do that. And then obviously for us, we were extremely poor in the run game executing. So um, got to get back to work, figure out um, what we need to do because we got a lot of season ahead of us. Um, you know, playing that team there, man, it's a, it's a really, really good program. And uh, when the smoke clears, they're, they're definitely going to have something to do with the eventual champion, um, you know, in their conference. Coming in, we knew they're you know a team that could definitely run the football, and and this is what we we talked about. And um, at the end of the end, end of the day, our guys know uh, game plan wise. We talked about having to stop the run that they were going to do, it. and they did what they wanted to do. That's what they do. Um, they got a pretty good trigger man. We we felt like you know we definitely could keep the receiving the passing game in check, but you know we were really um, skeptical on the you know the run. Um, they did a good job. They run a good scheme. Uh, like I said, our players were physical, but, you know, Truman, to their credit, they stayed at it. They stayed at it, and they took advantage of uh, some of the uh, miscues that we had. You know, take a look at that first drive. They go 77 yards for a touchdown, but then you stop them, three punts and an interception on the next score. But you guys just seem to not get an offensive hit. You have five punts and five teams. Talk about that. No, we, you know, we had a lot of blown assignments on offense, and, you know, we did, you know, trim – uh, our package for this game because we wanted our guys to be able to play fast and you know there's a lot of energy you know surrounding this game and coming back you know since the uh, pandemic and things like that so um, you know we don't we don't make excuses around here and it, it's understood that when it uh, when it's game time you got to be ready to play you know and I don't think that it was one of those deals that we weren't ready to play I just think that our opponent you know did some really good things to us and um, we just got to be better at stepping up. Um, it actually, the one positive I would take away was that it just it just felt good to be back on the field with my teammates. When you take a look at defensively, you know, when you're pounded that often, you know, how much does fatigue come into fact in the first game of the season like this? Yes, it definitely comes into play. Um, take a look at next week. You know, you've got to regroup and you're going to head to Walsh. Do you know anything about them and how do you prepare for that next week's matchup? Um, I, I don't know too much about them yet, but I'm sure we'll be able to get the game plan in rolling to the next week. Um, we'll be ready to go. We're ready to bounce back and do our thing. Coach, back to you. Uh, same question, I guess. You know, how did they kind of get over this? Obviously, a season opening loss is something you don't want to have. But you're going on the road to play Walsh. So what's kind of the scouting report on that? We, we have absolutely no scouting report whatsoever. You know, our focus has been on Truman State and Davenport. <clears throat> so what's going to happen now at this point, we will exchange film with uh, Walsh. They, they, they came out and they won their first game. And uh, the one thing I can tell you is this, I'm familiar with who, who the head coach is. He's a very good coach. He's, he's going to have his team prepared, ready to play. We'll have to go and get on the road. And, um, you know, the main focus for us, though, is it's about us. Okay, We got to go back, um, you know, look at the film, uh, take a look at the MAs that were made, um, look at the personnel. Uh, make sure that, you know, everything um, that we can do to win games, that's that's what we're doing. And I guess offensively, what's the one thing that you're going to be able to work on as you've been practicing here lately? Well, it's a couple things. we we got to be able to run the football, you know. And coming off the, um, you know, the Gannon couple games, you know, we, we showed that we're, you know, truly able to run the ball. Uh, then we're going to have to sew up some protections um, because I felt like we were under some heat, you know, uh, throughout the game. Um, so we got definitely things to – to, to learn, to work with. Uh, but, you know, number one, like I said, we got to work on us and who we are and, you know, uh, where we need to go from here.
Thank you.